I am Arvel Bird. I am Celtic Indian. I was born in Boise, Idaho, but that doesn't make me Celtic Indian. That makes me a Boise boy. <laughs> I grew up in the states of Utah and Arizona, but that doesn't make me a Celtic Indian. That makes me a Uterizonian. <laughs> but I come from the sh Shivwit Band of the Southern Paiutes of Utah and the Clan Kennedy of Scotland, and that makes me a Celtic Indian. <laughs> Anyone here can be a Celtic Indian if you share the heritage of North American Indian and Scots-Irish. Is there anybody out there tonight with that heritage? Let me hear you say, aho. Oh, I think so, yes. I'm among friends. My music is a blend of my Native American heritage and my Celtic roots. The Clan Kennedy is where my ancestors go back to in Kilmarnock. In 1744 was my last known relative. Born there just two days before the, or two years before the Battle of Culloden which we just celebrated the anniversary last Monday. Did anybody celebrate the Battle of Culloden? Well, it was a failed attempt by the Jacobites to restore the crown of Scotland to the Stuart clan. But life goes on. And so does the music. Animal totems. North American Indians and South American Indians were known for their identifying and working with animal spirit guides. They did not worship animals and birds, but they used them as an intercessor to get to creation. If they wanted far-sightedness and clear vision, they would make prayers to the eagle, the red-tailed hawk. If they wanted to visit their relatives in the land of the sundown country, they would pray to the crow, the shapeshifter, the spirit messenger. If they wanted the speed of a deer, they would pray to the deer spirit. If they were going on a hunt, they would pray to the deer spirit. They would make offerings to the deer. If they wanted strength, they would pray to the bear spirit to give them extra supernatural strength. And you know, when your adrenaline is pumping, you may have this supernatural strength too. So these animals, their spirits were important. Even today, in my tradition, we are known to be born with nine power animal spirit guides, each in the four directions, as well as above, below, within, and on the left and the right. And each of those different animal spirit guides bring a lesson for us, bring a message. They give us strengths. They give us character. They give us characteristics that we need to bring out into our life so that we can become who we were truly meant to be here on our earth walk. For us as adults, we must go into our cave. We must go into introspection at times. We must discover who we are in silence, in darkness. And when we have discovered that, then we must bring that out of the cave into the light of day to walk our path. And the bear spirit can bring you wisdom and knowledge about who you are. I'm going to call to the bear spirit now with my smallest flute, a clay flute made by the Taos Pueblo Indians in New Mexico, called an ocarina. It has four holes. Listen see the bear spirit dance.
Thank you.